Hello everyone, this is Sharik from Dr. Amar Sarin Limb Lengthening Team. Today I am going to introduce a patient from Sri Lanka who lives in European country. So why did he choose limb lengthening surgery? And uh, Dr. Amar Sarin, he will share his experience. Hello man. Hello Sharik, how are you? Good, good, good. How, how is your experience uh, from starting to till now? Can you yes. please explain it? Yes, uh, thank you Sharik. Uh, so look, when I was in Netherlands, so I had a different concept about Indian facilities and because so many scams going on and it was my friend advice that is very risky. So, but uh, uh, when I spoke to you uh, over the phone and I asked like, like millions of questions because I was so confused and what would be the facilities, what would be the... Uh, St uh, standard of the uh, hospital, the rehab center, especially due to the uh, uh, infections and all other complications. So I was very anxious. I was, I, I think I asked you at least 100 questions. Yes. yes. And, and then you, you gave me all the answers. And then um, I asked you about the visa because I needed the visa for uh, India. So you send me the um, uh, support later. Like okay. a certificate from the hospital. hospital. So I uh, submitted and I got the visa within uh, 24 hours because it's the uh, online visa services. I came to the airport and then uh, your team, uh, the team from Morsan's team, Sanju, uh, he came to the airport, picked me up and I came to the uh, rehab center. And this center then I, uh, I checked in and I checked all the, the room I was given. It's really clean. Uh, it has a uh, uh, fridge, AC, TV, and uh, personal uh, uh, like uh, toilet facilities and they have a uh, room service every every day morning around 12 o'clock so um, uh, in terms of the uh, hospital facilities when I, uh, I was admitted for the uh, first time for the sur surgery um, I had to go through uh, the test like uh, your uh, chest x-ray, whole body, whole body, whole body x-ray, your uh, blood test, your urine test, uh, your chest x-ray, leg x-ray, like uh, your sugar level, everything. When then I was given the uh, positive results, uh, all the results report came in and everything positive, like fit for the surgery. And I was uh, then uh, taken to the hospital OT. And everything is like uh, went well, really. All the doctors, nurses, and uh, really good. The, and then I was given uh, like a private room, like uh, a special services. So I I would rate the hospital uh, ten out of uh, ten uh, because twenty four seven nurse and uh, um, like uh, the, all the, the medical, medical staff. Assist, staff. Medical yeah, medical they clean you. They clean you. They, F uh, hygienic rating is top rating, like uh, they're cleaning every two hour, every two hour any spill on the floor, they check your uh, uh, temperature, they check your uh, blood pressure level every two hour and they're making sure all the medication are uh, fully provided, um, the patient is fully um, comfortable and the uh, cleaning services are, are on time and the food are, food is really good. So. Uh, I, I have no complaints about the uh, services that I have gone, I have got till so far. Um, so now my current current condition, I would say um, I am on my lengthening phase. Uh, you are already uh, around eight. So in next few days, I'm going to remove this frame and then uh, I will be on my third, third phase, like a recovery phase. Okay, so the most asked question is how painful the limb lengthening surgery is? Okay. What is your experience with limb lengthening surgery and the pain? Okay, well, um, Shri, this very uh, frequently asked question. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I will, I will be honest with you and uh, I will tell you my exact experience, what I, what I have gone through. Uh, initially, when I had the sur surgery that night, I didn't feel anything because I had uh, uh, like a heavy dose anesthesia. So the second day of the su surgery, I felt pain 
uh, but it was not like a crazy pain because they are continuously giving you uh, the uh, painkiller in a liquid form. And the day goes by, your pain level threshold drops. And in third day, I didn't feel anything. I was moving my, uh, raising my leg. I was doing some small exercise according to the doctor's advice. And then I, I came back into the rehab center and starts my uh, third stage of the journey. I would say it's like a recovery stage. So why are you doing limb lengthening surgery? Very good question. And look, I, um, I moved to Netherlands when I was very young. Mm. I did my study and I had uh, noticed that all the young generations are very tall, uh, roughly 62, 63. So I felt always uh, like uh, very um, not comfortable mm. in this society, with the society, at the gym or in the market or at college or university. So I felt like not uh, comfortable and confident in myself. So I have been um, searching and have been doing some research on this. Uh, How can you be tall? How can I be tall? So I, I found a few uh, clinic, which is in uh, Turkey, uh, uh, South Korea and India. The reason I chose India, and especially Dr. Sareen, uh, because I have checked his uh, profile and uh, he has been doing uh, this surgery for the last 25 years, especially he's specialized only this surgery, plastic surgery, like uh, and, and, limb and, limb. and I have uh, spoken to his team, which is uh, to you, uh, before making the decision. Mm -hmm. So I checked everything and I, like the Thompson condition, I have uh, checked their uh, Clinic facilities, uh, their rehab center, and I made the decision. Okay. So uh, in the Netherlands, the peoples are very tall there. Even yeah. the women, they are very tall there. Yeah. So if you, if you see the average height in Netherlands, uh, roughly 5'10", mm -hmm. 6'2", some guys 6'7". Yeah. So it's very, very big difference in you know, the height I, I had initially. And that made me uh, to make the decision. And it's also part of my uh, childhood dream to become a tall. tall, tall man. <laughs> so, what is your target? Like, what was your previous height, and like, how tall you will become after this surgery? Well, uh, you know, when I came, mm. we had a measurement. Um, mm. I was uh, 161, so roughly 53 point something. So my target, when I had the initial consultation with the doctor, so he advised me that maximum I can go eight mm -hmm. on tibia in one segment. So I'm happy uh, for that uh, eight. My, my current target is to hit eight. So I already, roughly my current stage, I have completed uh, around 93 days. So I believe I'm already on the, my hitting my target for yeah. eight. So I will have my uh, last X-ray before removing the frame, um, maybe in two three days time. So will you be happy? Uh, you will get eight centimeter. Yeah. So look, initially I was below the average height. Mm -hmm. So if I add additional eight, which is roughly uh, three point one four inches, which is a big difference. That will at least uh, fulfill my uh, initial target. But uh, I have uh, another plan, so uh, I'll go back to, to the uh, Netherlands and hopefully I'll come back again uh, for six months or one year. For three months. For the few months, the next segment. So I have another target like another eight. So in total, I will hopefully I'll gain 16. Okay.